So let's assume that you have a course created, right? So everything's done, right? The thumbnail, the modules, everything's done, right? But you have zero followers, zero dollars to invest and have no idea in general how to make this course profitable, right? How to turn this course into income. In this video, I'm not just giving you like a general, if you will, approach on what you should be doing. I'm going to give you very specific guidelines, very specific information. This is, this is going to be like a literal guide, a step-by-step -step guide on what you should do if you want to be generating revenue with your course. And it's not just going to be a guide from, let's say, generate $10 or $100. We're going to start by generating your first dollar, then your first $100, $1,000, etc., 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 up to as much as you can scale this because it's a skill issue at the end of the day. I'm just going to give you all of the information, you're going to have the information and let's see where you can take this, right? So let's just have your course ready, right? You've done your research, you know who you're targeting, everything, the course is done, right? What's the first step here? The first thing that I advise the people that I work with on a one-on-one -on -one basis, and by the way, you're getting all of this information for free in this video, but there are people that pay thousands of dollars for me to coach them on a one-on-one -on -one basis because I literally have done this with 28 right courses of myself. I created and scaled 28 courses. I know exactly the steps that you should take in order to achieve success. I'm giving them to you right now. Step number one, optimize this course. Step number one actually starts in the course creation process. You should optimize your course, the content, right, the modules, the titles, the description of your course to appeal to Skillshare's guidelines. Why is that? You might be asking what is Skillshare. Here's the thing. We need to upload your course firstly in online course marketplaces. Or if you don't want to work with me, you need to upload your course in online course marketplaces. Here's a free piece of advice that I'm giving to you right now. Right? Why online course marketplaces? Because A, you don't require any followers to generate your first dollars there. B, they take care of the marketing. So if you're a complete marketing noob like I am, you can be generating dollars from online course marketplaces. C, you get to test your courses and see how well they perform compared to other courses in their niche, in their field. And we're going to get back to point C in just a few minutes. So we need to upload our courses in online course marketplaces. Trust me, I've generated tens of thousands of dollars from online course marketplaces. They work. They work perfectly. I'm just going to give you some proof of work that I just, I'm not bullshitting you. All right. Um, these right here. I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if you can see this. Come on, come on, focus. Those are enrollments on my Udemy courses. I've literally have like 60,000 people enroll in my Udemy courses. So you need to upload courses in online course marketplaces. But there is a way to do this. We first start with Skillshare. We upload our courses on Skillshare, right? I've taught more than 70,000 people on Skillshare. I know exactly what you should do to find success there, right? Why do we upload first on Skillshare? Because Skillshare has more strict guidelines than Udemy, which is the other online course marketplace, which we're going to be generating like a huge pile of money, right? The notifications that I showed you were from Udemy, but I'm actually more successful on Skillshare because I know better like the algorithm there. I know exactly what you should do in both of these marketplaces, but specifically more Skillshare, right? So we're going to be optimizing our courses to appeal to Skillshare's algorithm, right? To Skillshare's guidelines because they got more strict guidelines there, so they might actually take your course down. Whereas on Udemy, most of the courses are completely fine to be uploaded there. They don't have any topics that shouldn't be discussed about. For example, on Skillshare, you can't talk about like medical stuff. You can't talk about um, health advice. You can't talk about um, what else? Let's say financial stuff that much. You need to be very careful there. On Udemy, everything passes. I've worked with clients and we've uploaded course of theirs on Udemy in like the most random subjects ever. You got no problem on Udemy. So you first need to upload on Skillshare, right? Then you take this course, you cross upload it to Udemy. So the same exact course, it's completely legal to cross upload it on Udemy. Now from Skillshare and Udemy, if you keep creating courses, if you keep optimizing them, if you keep uploading, right? And reflecting on what's happening and just getting better and better and better, you can generate hundreds of thousands of dollars. You can literally generate hundreds of thousands of dollars from these two online course marketplaces, right? If you stick to this, right? And if you keep uploading and keep creating and keep having satisfied students, right? So in my case, I've done this. I've made huge amounts of money from these two marketplaces. And then if you want, you can move to the next level, right? Which is taking your course from these marketplaces, 
cross uploading it or if you will taking it out of these marketplaces right and uploading it hosting it in your own website right and in your own website you need to take care of the marketing right but you also tweak the prices you can tweak the emails of your students right you can collect emails you can perform your marketing all of that stuff so when a course is in your website you get the full control but that being said right that means that you're also accountable for the enrollments how are going to be how are people going to find you right so this is where client acquisition comes into play so you need to find a way to funnel people to know about you in your website in order to generate sales this is why beginners usually choose online course marketplaces and don't directly upload in their website when a beginner directly uploads his course in the website all hell breaks loose right because you start paying monthly fee for this website you haven't generated any sales from the course so you're paying this monthly fee from your pocket right and then you're getting stressed you're like oh my god i need to run ads i need to bring people to buy my course so then you pay a marketing agency to run ads for you they ask for more money and now suddenly you want like more enrollments and it's a complete disaster trust me i've been there right i've been there so here's the smart thing if you first upload your course in online course marketplaces and then host them in your website Right, you've already created a small audience there, but this small audience of people, it might be 1,000 people, 2,000 people, those are engaged people that have consumed hours of your content, right? And these people that have consumed hours of your content are gonna be loyal, they're gonna know you, they're gonna like you, and they're gonna trust you, and they will probably going to buy from you a second time because they've already bought something from you, right? So as you can imagine, it is a huge asset to have all of these people and be able to traffic them to your website. This, ladies and gentlemen, is how I would approach a course creation business. If I just had a course ready, right, and I wanted to generate tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands and potentially millions of dollars from my course. Remember, once you upload a course in online course marketplaces, marketing is automated, right? Yes, these marketplaces take small commissions from your courses. That being said, it makes absolute sense, right? Because they take the weight of marketing off your shoulders, right? If you host your course in your own website, right, you get full control but you are accountable, but you take full responsibility also of the marketing and then marketing gets tricky. If you already have though an audience from these marketplaces and you funnel it from these marketplaces to your website, this in my case and in the case of most of my clients, if not all of my clients, right, is what works. Right? If you find value, if you found value in this video and you want to work with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis to scale your online course business, you can click on the first link in the description and I'm going to see you in our one-on-one -on -one call.